Hi everyone and welcome to Storytime with Brett Create. My name is Elisa Gomez and today we're going to read Babar's Lost and Found, a Laura de Brunhoff book. King Babar and Queen Celeste have been invited to the opera in Paris. The family packs their bags for the trip. Babar puts his crown in a little red suitcase. They arrive in Paris and wait for a taxi. Everyone is excited. When they get to their hotel, Celeste opens the red bag. Oh no, she pulls out a flute, not Babar's crown. Zephyr remembers a man with a mustache in the taxi line. He also had a red bag. The man and Babar must have switched bags by mistake. Babar needs his crown back. The family goes out to find the man with the mustache and Babar's red bag. Look, a man with a red suitcase is sitting in the park. But this man does not have a mustache. Hmm. Arthur and the boys see a man with a mustache on the bus and try and chase after him. But that man does not have a red suitcase after all. Just when Babar loses hope of finding his crown, Palm and Flora notice a man rushing by. Is that him? Yes, it is. Stop, please, shouts the family. But he doesn't hear them. They are too late. It is almost time for the opera. Babar and Celeste must get ready, even without Babar's crown. Babar and Celeste arrive at the opera. Babar does not feel like king of the elephants without his crown. Then, out of nowhere, a man in a hurry knocks right into Babar. The man has a mustache and a red suitcase and Babar's crown. The man with the mustache has found his flute just in time and Babar enjoys the opera from under his crown. Bravo! And that's the end. Tune in again.